want to talk about some of the most egregious sins of leadership that, uh, that I've seen over the years. And if you can guide your clients away from these things, you'd be doing them a tremendous service. And the first is putting themselves first, above their people, above the organization. And the way you'll see this manifest in, in the clients you're working with, if you, to give you a heads up to go in and help them, um, is they're giving themselves all the most exciting and, uh, and visible assignments, as opposed to spreading those out to their people. Uh, they're not willing to help a colleague who's in trouble. They look at things in competitive circumstances where they've got a co-leader. And as opposed to looking at that person as a colleague, look at that person as a competitor. And if they're in trouble, they're not going to step in and help because they don't want the person to get a leg up on them. Okay. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll see it manifest itself in, in not being available to think through problems with their staff. They're so focused on their upward mobility, they're not helping the staff. You'll see them make decisions that are better for them than they are for the whole organization. They'll, you'll see them not make a sacrifice in their own departmental area to help somebody else's department out that might be for the better strategic benefit of the organization. If you see any of those types of things manifest in any of the leaders you're working with, help guide them to put their people and the organization above themselves, their success will take care of itself. But they will ultimately undermine their own success if they put themselves as number one.